Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So welcome back to my digs. Uh, normally I have been, lately I have been using the gym as my home, but today I am actually in my home. Um, I am excited to do this next project. This is day two of our pop art week. We've missed Tuesday and this is our Wednesday. Um, we are going to be copying a picture by Andy Warhol, which originally was done as a silk screen, which is a way of making a print, but we are actually just going to draw it um, using highlighters, a pencil, Sharpie marker, and paper. Um, I'm gonna get myself set up and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I am all set up. I have my white piece of paper, my pink and yellow highlighters. I have a pencil, two pencils actually, and a Sharpie marker. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw a cow just like my friend Andy Warhol did. Um, Andy Warhol was a pop artist and we are going to be recreating his or getting inspiration from his cow drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a really kind of large oval to the side of our paper. And then I'm going to do an oval down here. These ovals are going to be erased eventually. I'm going to connect them together with two lines. Now, I know you're thinking, Miss Temple, this doesn't look like a cow. So what we're going to do is we're going to add two I'd say they're like teardrop shapes inside of there. We're going to erase the circles, parts of the circles that are inside of those two lines. My eraser is making funny noises. That's okay. Now, so now we've got the snout and the head. So I'm going to add a little section here making it just a little bit more squared off. The circles are just um, guidelines, I'd say. Okay, next up, we're gonna give our cow some really big, one really big ear and one that goes off the page. One ear, one that goes off the page. Now we're gonna give our cow a neck. So we're not gonna see the top of his neck. And we're gonna see the bottom of his, the start of his leg. Okay, now this cow is actually gonna be a bull. So he's gonna have some horns and what I'm gonna do is make a letter J and connect that J just like that. Now, the other one isn't gonna look the same. It's gonna look like a backwards J and it's gonna be a little bit lower. So see how it kind of looks like a C? We're gonna make it pointy on top and turn it around. I'm gonna actually make this ear a little bit lower. Okay, looks good. Now, we're gonna put an eyeball. What I do for an eyeball is I make a line like that and then make the same line but underneath. Boom, that's one eye. His other eye is gonna be over there, but we're not gonna draw it. Now I'm gonna use that line right here to make his harness around his neck. give him a little harness on his cheek and then do a rainbow shape around his face. Oh my gosh, this cow is looking adorable. I'm gonna give him a shine in his eye. We're gonna give him an eyebrow right there. Wow, I love this cow. If you wanna give your cow some spots, you can, but I'm not going to today gonna make a line in there so it looks like his ears go have two colors perfect now I'm gonna go over this with Sharpie marker and I'm gonna make my cow pink and I'm gonna make my background yellow just like Andy Warhol did okay
Okay, so I'm gonna sign the bottom HT2020. And that is how you draw an Andy Warhol inspired neon cow. I hope you had a good time and I can't wait to see what you made. You can send them to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. You can send them to me on a DM on Instagram at Miss Temple's apartment, or you can just dojo them to me. See you later.